What's going on, GTA Familia? We're back at square one again. Rockstar thought it was a great idea to update GTA Online and make you suffer the consequences. If you're like me, you don't care about GTA 5 Online. And if you're watching this video so that you can play modded GTA 5, disclaimer, warning, heads up, hey, you're not gonna be able to play online today because until the new script hook is released for this ridiculous little patch Rockstar had come out with, you're not gonna be able to play modded at all. So, if you wanna roll it back in time to a different previous version that did work, this is the video for you, and if you don't mind that you can't play online, get in line, because we're about to shine. I'm gonna show you guys how to dial it back. I'm just like you, a consumer of information, and I'm not gonna hide the fact that sometimes I go to GTA Gamer. So here they have a plethora, three different videos, depending on your launcher, it doesn't really matter. The video is gonna show you how to work it, uh, how to install it, pertaining to your launcher, but that's not what the focus of this is. They provide these files, which is awesome, okay? And depending on your version, they uh, launcher, they have each uh, here grouped together. So I'm on Epic Games, and then once you click inside of that launcher folder, you get presented with three different versions. This is the most previous version. This is the version from March, and I believe this is like the contract DLC. So I'm on this one right here, uh, 1.0.2545.0. That's the one I'm on for show, and I'm gonna stick to that. Pretty much once you have it downloaded, it's uh, it's really straightforward. You know, you've got your files right here. You have your GTA 5.exe, your play GTA 5.exe, and an update RPF. Now, uh, this is perfect because you've already modded your GTA 5, uh, you know, you have your mods version of your updated RPF that's got, you know, maybe you have Ellie Revo or you just got a bunch of stuff in there that's custom tailored to your experience. You don't want to have to reinstall all of that nonsense again. All we have to do is once we have our files downloaded, we're going to hop into our main GTA 5 directory, wherever that is, whatever launcher you're using, it don't matter. Just find your main GTA 5 directory like I have for Epic Games. My program files, my C drive right here, GTA 5. <laughs> I'm going to select GTA 5.exe and play.gta 5.exe. I'm just going to drag it straight into my folder just like this. It's going to ask you to overwrite. Say yes. Uh, next, you're going to locate your update folder right here. Okay. And you're going to see two update files in here. One's going to be update and then the other is going to be update 2. Delete the update 2. We're not going to be using that whatsoever. Then you're going to take the update.rpf from inside of the archive, drag that straight into your update folder in your main GTA 5 directory, not your mods folder. Okay, your mods folder, don't touch it. You're just installing these files in your main GTA 5 directory and the update folder. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. From now on, what you should do is once you have that installed and backed up, you know, you select your GTA 5.exe, you just select your play GTA, you put them inside an archive like I've done right here, and then you hop and then you, you grab your update uh, folder here and you drag that straight into the archive you just created. You know what I'm saying? And if you wanna know how to make an archive with uh, 7-zip, I'll show you right now. I'm gonna select my GTA 5 exe play gta 5.exe right click and if you have 7-zip installed like i do just hover down here and then you can add to gta 5.7-zip um or gta v whatever dot zip you can change it to different extensions as well uh well, let's just do that all right it's going to compress all that stuff sandwich it down make it more digestible and uh oh here we go yeah so it just it turns it into a compressed zip file um and then once you have that archive made yeah you just drag your update folder straight into it ba -ba 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 to back it up make a copy of it just like that and there you have it okay once you've got that done and installed you know you just hop up on into your epic games launcher like me and uh, you tell your launcher to never do that to you again. We're gonna hop in here. It's gonna take its sweet time to load. And we're gonna tell this thing to stop updating, okay? So I just clicked on my little user icon here in the top right. 
settings. I scroll on down to the very bottom and this thing said allow updates. I was like, no, stop. Don't do that. And then uh, I just click on launch and uh, let's give it a test run. Oh, yeah. So it worked. Yeah. Uh, deuces. And then I closed it. And for Steam, if you want, you know, just hop up in that beast. Uh, I had a download going. And at the same time, um, it was like, oh, hey, Grand Theft Auto 4 Complete Edition. It's queued up to update. And I'm like, huh? What? Why? Okay, no. So there was a little uh, X icon here. I just clicked on that. And then uh, there's another option. Say if uh, we go to view library, we see our game here on the left, right click that, go to properties, and then we just check out the update tab here. We can uh, select only update this game when I launch it or always keep this game updated or whatever. For whatever reason, we can't not update. And that's kind of annoying. We can't even own games these days because we don't own a physical copy of the game. We technically don't have any rights to the game. And that's just not right, man. I'm your guy, Very High. All I'm saying is, hey, look, man, give us more freedom of the games we enjoy. All right. I, I don't want to play online. I don't want to install updates to fix some shit that I don't even play or invest my time in. But if you play online, this video is not for you. Stop watching it. And if you watched it all the way through, I thank you. I'm your guy, V3RY, Very High. And I hope this video helped you out. Hit up GTA Gamer, tell him very high I sent you. And until the next time for GTA 5, don't ever tell you all. Don't ever say and help you, bruh. Drink my LaCroix. Peace.